Hello, this is Dr. Sanchez Mayers, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a chi square analysis with SDA. SDA is the survey documentation and analysis program that's found on the General Social Survey website, which we'll be using. Before we begin, let's talk about some terms we'll be using. A cross tabulation is a table that's used for categorical variables and shows the joint frequency distribution of two variables. It's also called a cross tab or a contingency table. The chi square test assesses the extent to which the frequencies we observe in our table of results differs from what we would expect to observe if the distribution was created by chance. So we're going to show how to perform a chi square test here. Remember, it's used for nominal or ordinal level data, which is most of the data in the GSS. Now we'll go to the General Social Survey website, and here's the web address listed. This is the home page of the General Social Survey. Click on where it says Data Analysis Using SDA. Here's the home page for SDA. Scroll down until you can see the GSS. Click on the GSS cumulative data file with the SDA 4.0 interface highlighted in red. Here's the analysis page in SDA. As you can see on the left hand side, it says variable selection. There is a little box where you type in your variables. On the right hand side is where the analysis takes place. We have clicked on tables because that's what we want for cross tabulation. As you can see, there is also two tabs for help on the right hand side. One says general and the other says recoding variables. You can click on the general tab at any time to get help with what you want to do. Now be sure you have your GSS codebook handy so you can find the names of the variables you'll be using. I'm interested in the question of the legalization of marijuana. As you know, Colorado recently just made it legal, although at the federal level it is still not. First, I would like to know what the overall frequencies were for question number 32 in my codebook, which says, do you think the use of marijuana should be made legal or not? The code for this question is GRASS. So I have typed in GRASS in the left-hand side variable selection box, and then clicked on ROW, and the variable is automatically placed in the analysis box on the right. I ran the frequencies and here's my result. 46.9% of the samples said it should be legal while 53.1% said it shouldn't be. There were 1,223 people in the sample who responded to this question. Now I wonder, could there be a difference in this attitude by sex? To find out, we'll perform a cross tab with a chi-square statistic to see if there is a significance and if so whether the difference is statistically significant. To find out if there are differences I'm going to run a cross tabulation. First I type in grass and click on row and it is automatically placed on the right where it says row. Then I type in sex in the selection box on the left and click on column and it is automatically placed on the right where it says column. Now I go to the right side where it says selection filters. The GSS is a longitudinal survey that has been going on since 1972 and I don't want the data for all those years. I just want data for 2012, the last year. So I type in the box year and then in parentheses I put 2012. This will make sure that I only get data from the 2012 sample. The GSS utilizes a complex data design. In a simple random sample, we would use no weight, but in this case, we will use weighting. 
Click on Weight and choose WTSS, which takes into account the number of adults over 18 years of age in a household. Now scroll down a little bit and you'll see Output Options. For percentaging, click on Column. Make sure Sample Design Complex is checked and Weighted N a little further down is also checked. Now click on Chart Options and for Type of Chart, click on the pull down menu and choose Bar Chart. Also make sure you check on Show Percents, Palette equals Color, and Orientation equals Vertical. Next click on Decimal Options and for Weighted Ends choose Zero. That way when it prints the table it won't show numbers of people with decimals. Now that you have everything ready click on Run the Table. A results window will pop up and as you can see here's part of my results. Down at the bottom it shows the frequency distribution which in this case is actually a cross tabulation. Here are my results. They tell us that even though overall 46.9 percent of the sample agree that marijuana should be legal, there is a difference by sex. Only 42.3 percent of females agree with this while 52.5 percent of males agree with this. By the way, you can cut and paste this chart right into a Word document. But the question is, is the difference we see here statistically significant? To find out if the differences are significant, we need to scroll down a little bit to the summary statistics. We want to find the chi-square value. We look at the Rao Scott P figures that I've highlighted in, it, in red here. The Rao Scott P is the Pearson chi-square with an adjustment made for the complex sampling that was used. We are interested in the p-value. A p-value is the probability of something having occurred by chance. The p-value goes from 0 to 1. The lower the p-value, the more likely it is that the results you see did not occur by chance. Here the p-value is 0.00, .00 which doesn't really mean 0. What it means is that there is less than a 1 in 100 chance that these differences occurred by chance. In science, the conventional cutoff point for statistical significance is a p of 0.5 or less. Therefore, since this is below 0.5, we can say that there's a statistically significant difference between males and females in their attitudes towards legalization of marijuana. Here is the chart created by SDA when I ran the data. I took a print screen of it and pasted it into a Word document. If you follow these steps, you'll be able to perform a chi-square analysis with your data, provided both of your variables are at the nominal or ordinal levels of measurement.